Hello and welcome to another episode of Nutrition Tips with Margo. I'm your host, Margo J. Rathbun. I'm certified as a nutritional therapy practitioner and I'm also the creator of the nutrition website, AuthenticSelfWellness.com. I'm here today exclusively for Nature and Health Magazine, sharing with you a delicious and nutritious recipe for acai berry jam. Now this recipe comes from a fantastic cookbook called Superfood Cuisine. It's written by Julie Morris. I highly recommend that you check this out. And in this cookbook, she uses a bunch of different superfood ingredients to create these fantastic recipes, which I'm going to share with you guys today. Now, I much rather prefer to make my own homemade jam than buy store-bought like a conventional brand because more often than not, the jams that we find in the grocery store are loaded with artificial ingredients, added sugars, preservatives. It's just not the healthiest choice. This way, we know exactly what we're putting in our jam. It's fresh, it's delicious, and it retains the most nutrients. So let me show you guys how simple it is to make this acai berry jam. Let's take a look. First of all, you want to make sure that you always have chia seeds on hand in your kitchen because they're loaded with antioxidants, fiber, omega-3 fatty acids. They're just a really powerful food. So what you're going to need for this jam is about two and a half tablespoons of chia seeds. So we're just going to go ahead and scoop it out. It doesn't matter what color your chia seeds are. There's really no nutritional difference between the two. And there shouldn't be a taste difference either. So let's do two and a half like so. And then we are going to add about a half a cup of all organic, all natural apple juice. Bonus points if you juice it yourself. So just pour it in with the chia. And what you're going to do is let this gel for about uh, 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Just let it sit out on your counter. And what's going to happen is the chia seeds are going to gel up to form this beautiful kind of pudding-like uh, consistency. It's really uh, just kind of gooey and it smells and tastes delicious too, by the way. So we've gone ahead and we've let our chia seeds sit out. What you're going to do next is then add about two tablespoons of organic maple syrup. Just pour it in like so. I love maple syrup. It's a really wonderful alternative to a lot of the different sweeteners out there. We're going to use one tablespoon of lemon juice. I always go ahead and buy uh, organic fresh squeezed lemon juice just to keep in my fridge because I go through it so much. So let's go ahead and add one tablespoon like so. Next, we are going to add the acai powder, and we're going to need about two tablespoons of the acai powder as well. I love to use Navitas Naturals. You can get this online and in most health food stores. And look at that beautiful dark color. It's rich in antioxidants and nutrients. Uh, this is a really good superfood to prevent the signs of aging. So if that's something that you're worried about, heads up on that. Let's give it a little stir there. You can see it's getting this beautiful color. It's mixing in with the chia seeds, getting all gelatinous. Ooh, it smells amazing. So we've done that. And then what I've done is smashed up a cup, or about a quarter cup, I should say, of raspberries. You can use really any berries, but raspberries are my favorite. These are always organic because they get sprayed with pesticides, so always do that. And you're just going to dump them in to your jam and just give it a good mix until everything is well blended. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've really given all the ingredients a good mix there. You can see they're really well blended. It's all mixed in. It's got this beautiful color, rich in vitamins and minerals. So let's go ahead and add some to a whole grain English muffin. You can add it to crackers. You can add this to wraps to breakfast wraps, I should say. I know people that actually add this to their Greek yogurt first thing in the morning, and then you just top it like so. You can store this in your fridge in an airtight container. Uh, just make sure that it's airtight so it doesn't spoil, and it should last you quite a while. Very delicious, very simple to make, full of nutrients that are gonna help you look and feel your best. So for more fantastic nutrition tips and recipes like this acai berry jam, keep checking back on natureandhealth.com.au every week for new nutrition Nutrition Tips with Margot. As always, thank you for watching. Have a happy and a healthy day.